Now with some of the best foods to find it is health anchor Liz Bonus. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon once again. You're looking at a few of those best foods. They're crunchy, they're bold in color, they're packed with good nutrition. Whether you get migraines or not, this same nutrient has been linked to being good for your heart, being good for your bones, reducing your diabetes risk, and now it appears it's good for your brain. When it comes to any healthy diet, Fruits and vegetables, um, moderation in your diet, that's what's going to be the healthiest way to do it. But Sherry Kanarek, a registered dietitian at St. Elizabeth Healthcare, says many people don't eat a well-balanced diet overall, which can lead to missing nutrients. If one of those nutrients is magnesium, according to a new report from Tufts University health and nutrition specialists, it could potentially cause changes in what they call biochemical pathways. Those, over time, may be associated with a greater risk of getting migraine headaches. The good news is that magnesium is a mineral. It's found in many foods. They're really good for you. They include whole grains, such as breads and cereals, fruits, such as bananas and avocados, soy products, such as edamame, dairy foods, such as yogurt. You can also find magnesium in beans, leafy green vegetables, seeds such as sunflower seeds, and nuts such as cashews and almonds. Now, every time mm. I say to Paula, you should eat nuts, she always goes, they're high in calories. I and I say, not <laughs> if you don't eat too many of them. So I just yeah. wanted to illustrate that a serving size like a quarter of a cup. Okay. That's and a lot I mean, actually. That's, that's yeah, a lot. that's not. I don't usually eat that many, but. I'm so starving. That's I'm my table. point. Yes, please, these are for you. Now, I will say these are roasted and salted. That doesn't mm -hmm. take the nutrients out of them. Thirsty. People always ask me, you know, does it matter? No, it doesn't. Um, but what they think is that you can only absorb so much of a mineral at one time. So it doesn't do you any good to eat a whole bunch of one food with that, you know, right. at one time. Getting the little bits throughout the day. Yeah, because it's not about what you eat. It's about what you absorb. Iron's the same way. You know, nutrients mm. are very, we're okay. delicate beings. Yeah. So you don't have to eat them all at once. You don't have to eat the whole thing, even though I, may. I know Kyle probably thinks like this whole thing's a serving, but wow. I wanted to do it. I illustrated it on purpose because Paul is tall. Like, he can do a whole thing. <laughs> but I, I can't eat them and then anchor because um, it will choke me. That's the one thing nuts, if you know, I uh -oh. really, I really could be in otherwise I would try them. But it, the little pieces, like eating popcorn. I would tell you if they were in your teeth. <laughs> That's a friend right there. I don't know. I just they, they did just a survey once about people throat. who and said, "Would or would you not tell someone if there's something in their teeth?" And most people would not. Isn't well, that I would awful? Tell you. I, would I would always tell you. Oh yeah, I just yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm big. But quarter cup of these and eat them all year round. That's okay. the idea. One to probably three servings of those foods a day could make the difference. All right. All right. Thank we're you, back Liz. at five thirty talking about cancer research. All right. All right. Great. Thanks so much, Liz.